Hey, it's Red Raven here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I don't have a title for. It may have a title by the time this video is uploaded. I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to sit and talk. And if you want to sit and listen, great. If you don't, don't. I know these type of videos won't be for everybody. Completely get it. I understand. So, let's go. I am struggling with figuring out who I am amongst my friends and my family and everyone else. And I suppose I keep doing what I keep doing and I keep moving forward and I'm not allowing myself time to be sad. Yeah, I hate being sad. I do not like being sad. And that's probably as comes down to how, um, well, how I was brought up when I was a kid. This might be an emotional video, just a heads up. I just need to talk about this, I need to let this out because I feel like I'm not the only person that feels like this. I wasn't given the opportunity growing up to figure out who I was. You know, and now I've got to figure that out and I really don't know. You know, we had the makeup course that we were doing um, and that got cancelled and now I don't know what I'm doing. I know that I'm a mom, you know, and I know that I see my kids and that's great and I love them very much and I'm going to keep, you know, seeing them and supporting them and I know what I need to do for everyone else. I know how to support my boyfriend, I know how to support people, I know how to be there and I've learned a lot of things about how to support my kids when I do go and see them. I don't know what I'm supposed to do for me and I know there's a lot of people that tell me that everything is fine and everything's gonna be okay and well it's not I a lot of time feel really misunderstood and lost and a lot of the time people just tell you that it's fine and it's gonna be okay and it's gonna be all right when it's not and what they unintentionally doing is they're dismissing how you're feeling because they can't see anything wrong. Now, I'm never suggesting that people do this on purpose. People are trying to help in their own way, but unfortunately what they're doing by doing so is they're not listening. And I have found through my 31 years on this planet that a lot of people will say that they don't have a problem with your issues or your disabilities or whatever it is until it affects them. Like, if you are a little bit difficult or a little bit issue. I mean, yeah, some people are like that, but I, that's what I found. And then they'll say, oh, well, it's fine, it's okay. And then it's a problem. And I found in my life that a lot of people do not take the time to listen and to understand you, you know. I mean, we all have our own lives, we all have our own things going on, but people don't take the time to listen, to, people don't take the time to understand. Again, this is just my opinion. I'm not saying this is for everybody and everybody feels the same way as me, because not everybody will. I don't know what my identity is and the stuff that I like now is entirely different to who I grew up as. I grew up as a person who was there for everybody and I grew up liking going out to pubs and animals and loads of different things and now I hate going out very much around lots and lots of people. I get overstimulated a lot and I'm quite introverted and sometimes I don't know how to tell people what's wrong 
And sometimes when people try to help me, they unintentionally sound sounds horrible. They make it worse unintentionally because they just say, It's fine, it's fine, it's okay, it's okay. And I know, I know you're trying to help, but it doesn't help because you're not me. So when I'm really struggling, and yeah, it's a bad thing for me, but I think it sounds harsh, benefits everyone else. When I go away, I do what I'm doing now. I sit here and I be on my own because I think if I can just deal with this on my own, then I'm not going to be a problem for anybody else. And I can deal with this, or at least try and deal with this. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I am still here. And I still have hope, and that's what I hold on to. I've had a lifetime of being misunderstood and not knowing where I'm going or what I'm doing. Like, everybody um, that I know, anyway, has that one good thing they're really good at. That one good thing they're really good at. Like, for my boyfriend, it's um, computers. Um, and for my son, it's dance. I don't know what mine is. I, I don't know, like, what, you know what I mean, like, I have an identity crisis, I don't know what my special thing is, I don't know. And when I look back at the person I used to be, like, growing up, like, in my tw 20s, I don't even recognise that person, that person isn't even me. I'm an entirely different person. Give me a second. One second. Hello again, sorry about that. Um, there was a spider, I was just moving it away. It's hard. And I feel like I'm droning on, but... I feel really lost. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, and I know that I haven't been doing as many videos, and I know that... I am intermittent with videos and shorts and I've just been trying to sort of deal with the real world and I think, as I said before, of course, I had a plan, like I had a step plan and now it's just gone, it's gone. You know, getting a diagnosis when you're in your 30s is great, but it also leaves you with a lot of questions and you don't understand because Nobody teaches you <laughs> so weird how to be autistic, how to deal with being autistic. No one teaches you, you know, like when you go to school and they say, right, well, you need to do this to be good at math, or you need to do this to be good at English, or you need to do this to know how to do geography. No one teaches you. No one teaches you how to deal with the meltdowns, no one teaches you anything. I mean, they, people can give you advice, people can give you help to a certain degree, but you've got to figure it out yourself. And I feel like, I'm like in my second life, if that makes sense, like, I can't do the same things I did before, I don't have the energy or the capacity to literally give my whole entire existence to someone else, because I did, I did for a while, for 14 years of my entire life, or with it partner, my mum and all that as well. And it's hard rediscovering yourself after you spent a lifetime serving, I suppose, serving someone, serving people. And yeah, there are going to be people in my life that are still going to try and control me and try and manipulate me, but I also at the same time don't want to lose that part of myself. To a certain degree, I want to still be helpful, I want to still think it's having that balance. Um, having that balance of being helpful but not helping myself where I am causing an injury to myself, if that makes sense. Um, a lot of ums, ums, ums. Just 
my only advice, I suppose, is take your time. Don't do what I do. Don't keep pushing yourself and trying to run from it and fill your time up with other stuff so you don't deal with it. Because <laughs> it's not helping. I've got to deal with this. I've, I've got to figure this out and I don't know the first thing that I'm going to have to do. I know I have to do a lot of inner child work and I'm trying. There is a little raven that's was told that she wasn't good enough and she was a burden, she was a problem, she was an issue and I wasn't. It wasn't a problem, I was just a very hyperactive child that never stopped talking and I didn't deserve none of you, none of you deserve any of that. Anyone who has been through the same as me, none of you deserve to grow up in an abusive household or grow up with someone telling you that you're not worth it or you're not good enough. And I will sit here to the end of time and I will tell you that. There are so many of us that are still trying um, to live, you know, in society. And it's just so hard. Because we don't know the first thing about um, doing this sort of life. We have no idea what we're going to do, but we're trying. We are trying. We're trying. So, obviously, I hope that this video or whatever this is, has helped you or, I don't know, given you some form of comfort or felt less alone. Because on this channel I try and be me. This is me. This is me bare bones. This is, this is who I am. I struggle with lots of things. Uh, my channel won't always be positive hopefully in sight. But remember, most importantly, I love you. You're amazing. You're wonderful. And please, please, never stop being you. I'll see you in the next video, my darlings. And if you do like videos like this, you can like, you can subscribe if you want to.